This is a question from IAM CAT 2020. CAT is one of the toughest aptitude tests, but this is not as hard as you think. You should definitely try this and if you get the answer, do let me know through the comment section. So I hope you try to solve this on your own. The question says there is a solution of 40 liters which has dye and water in the proportion 2 is to 3. Water is added to the solution to change the proportion to 2 is to 5. So the ratio of dye and water is 2 is to 3 which means out of 40 liter 16 is dye and 24 liters is water. Now water is added to this solution to change the proportion to 2 is to 5. You have to remember that no dye is added. The amount of dye remains at 16 liters which means 2 units means 16 liters. 1 unit means 16 by 2 equal to 8 therefore 5 unit means 8 into 5 40 so you have to add 16 liters of water to make the ratio 2 is to 5 one fourth of this diluted solution is taken out so when you take out one fourth of the diluted solution one fourth of both water and dye will leave the mixture which means 3 by fourth of both dye and water will remain 3 by 4 of 16 is 4 16 4 12 so 12 liters of dye 3 by 4 of 40 is 30 30 liters of water. So this is what we get after we have removed 1 by 4th of the solution. Now the question is to bring back the ratio to 2 is to 3. So how can you do that? You have 12 liter of dye, you have 30 liter of water. You need the ratio to be 2 is to 3 which means if you add 8 liter of dye it will become 20 liter and water will be 30 liter. So the ratio will be 20 by 30 2 is to 3. So the answer is you need to add 8 liter of dye to this solution to bring back the ratio to 2 is to 3. I hope you understood the solution. All I did in the question was take the first volume which was 40 liters and then I followed the directions as it was given in the question. In the beginning it said that dye and water is in the proportion of 2 is to 3. So I found out that it was 16 liters of dye and 24 liters of water. Then water was added to it and the proportion changed to 2 is to 5 which means I had to add 16 liter of water and make it 40 so you'll get 2 is to 5. 16 is to 40 is 2 is to 5. The next step was to take out 1 by 4th of the solution. When you take 1 by 4th of a solution, you are taking out both the components of the solution. So that means you are left with 12 liter and 30 liter of dye and water respectively. And the final part of the question was to make the proportion back to 2 is to 3. So all I did was add 8 liter of dye which will make total amount of dye in the solution as 20 and water will remain the same as 30. So I will get the ratio as 2 is to 3 and the answer here is 8. Now we move on to the next question. This is also from IAMK 2020. Take a couple of minutes and try to solve this. If you get the answer, let me know through the comment section. So I hope you try to solve the question. An alloy is prepared by mixing metals A, B, C in the proportion 3 is to 4 is to 7 by volume. Weight of the same volume of metals A, B, C are in the ratio 5 is to 2 is to 6. It says that same volume of metals which means I can take it as 1 liter, 1 meter cube or 1 centimeter cube it doesn't matter and the weight will be in the proportion 5 is to 2 is to 6. Whatever the volume I take it should be same for all of these metals and the weight will have the ratio of 5 is to 2 is to 6. So in the question we are given that the volume is in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 7 and we know that the weight per volume is 5 is to 2 is to 6. All you have to do is to multiply volume with weight per liter or weight per meter cube which is basically the density. So density is equal to mass by volume and to get the mass you have to multiply density into volume. So that's what we are doing here. Multiply 3 into 5 you will get 15, 4 into 2 you will get 8. 7 to 6 you will get 42 and in the question it is asked in 130 kilogram of the alloy the weight in kilogram of the metal C is. So the total weight of alloy is 130 kilogram and here you have the metal A, B, C in the ratio 15 is to 8 is to 42 by weight. So if you add it up you will get it as 65. 15 plus 8, 23 plus 42 is 65. So there are a total of 65 units in this ratio and 65 units corresponds to 130 and one unit corresponds to 130 divided by 65. The question here is to find out the weight of metal C which is actually 42 parts. So one part is 130 by 65, 42 parts is 130 by 65 into 42. 65 to 130, you will get it as 84. So the answer is option A. So basically all you did is multiply volume 
with weight per volume and you will get the ratio as 15 is to 8 is to 42 and the weight given here is 130 kilogram which means you only have to double these values to get the actual weight of components in the alloy so 42 into 2 will get 84 so option a is the answer i hope you understood the solution i might feel confident about solving this question right now but come back to it tomorrow and try to solve this question again if you can solve it then you have understood properly or else go through the solution again and if you have any doubts you can definitely ask through the comments and i will reply to you so this question is also from iam cat you take some time and try to solve this So let's try and solve this question. A sum of money is split among A, S and M so that the ratio of shares of A and S is 3 is to 2 while the ratio of shares of S and M is 4 is to 5. If the difference between the largest and the smallest of the shares is 400 then Sunil share that's the question. So I have told you that whenever you get a question like this you will have to find out the ratio between A, S and M or whatever the quantities are so that you can compare the value. We have S common in this ratio and this ratio so all you have to do is to find the LCM of 2 and 4 which is actually 4 so all you have to do is to multiply this with 2 and you will get a is to s is equal to 6 is to 4 now the common part is equal so you can write a is to s is to m is equal to 6 is to 4 is to 5 so instead of doing this you can also do the other method which is basically multiply these two 3 into 4 12 is to 2 into 4 8 8 is to 2 into 5 which is 10 and you can see that 2 is common everywhere so you can just divide it by 2 and you will get it as 6 is to 4 is to 5 so you get the same answer either way whichever is easier for you do that method so now you have got the ratio between a s m and let's look at the rest of the question if the difference between the largest and smallest of these three shares is rupees 400 then sunil share is so let's take the sum of money received by a as 6x s as 4x m as 5x so obviously the largest part is 6x and the smallest part is 4x so 6x minus 4x is equal to 400 as given in the question difference between the largest and smallest of these three shares is 400. So 2x is equal to 400 and x is equal to 200. The question is to find out Sunil's share which is 4x 4 into 200 will get it as 800.